Hello everybody, today we are going to be editing and doing a tutorial for glitch text and glitch images in Photoshop. There's a lot of different ways to do it in After Effects and I'm, I've done a couple and I'll go through more, but today I want to go through how to do it in Photoshop. There's different ways that you can do it in Photoshop that I think look good, are fun to do, and can definitely bring out your thumbnails, your image editing if you're looking for some glitches. I'm only going to do the RGB split or the CYMK split in this case because it's really cyan and magenta more so than it is red, green, and blue. But what we're going to do is we're going to show you this glitch and you can use it in your edits and then in a future tutorial we're going to go over how to slide parts over kind of like the watchdogs text. We're going to kind of simply create that with our own two hands basically. So I brought in the texture background, I, I made a border here. So we're going to go in and, and edit this Call of Duty guy. So within this layer there's two different ways to duplicate your image. You can either control or command J or you can click and drag down and hover over the new layer in the bottom right and then let go and then I'll make a new layer. So you're gonna leave this first bottom one the same and the first copy you're going to go right click blending options and you're gonna take off the green. Simply the green. Click OK and then in the copy 2 you're gonna be taking off the blue and the red. So you've got now this pinkish, this magenta color. So then from there, you just take these layers and you move them around a little bit. Three to the left, three to the right, and you see already you've got a bit of a glitch. You can move them up, you can move them down if you want more of a vertical glitch. Um, if you want more, I'm going to kind of slide a little bit closer together. I mean, you can go all the way out and you can see that each layer has its own color. So this one's now pink the other one's green and then you have the standard image without any adjustments made to it whatsoever. Control Z to undo that. So that's the Call of Duty character and this is going to be a real short tutorial but it's going to be something that I feel a lot of people are going to be able to benefit from. So let's go and do the text now. Here's just some generic text. We're going to make a white and then we're just, I'm making the thumbnail for this video. So we're going to do glitch text tutorial in Photoshop. Uh, let's make this, uh, let's see, I actually have a better idea, glitch text tutorial in Photoshop. My P key is very sticky so I kind of have to slam it a little bit. So then we're going to align the text, size it down a little bit, get it to fit right inside this box here, make it look good. And there we go. So now we have this text. I kind of like it italicized. So we've got this text now that we are going to use. And we're going to do the same exact process that we just did with the, with the Call of Duty character. We're going to bring him up here. We're going to duplicate it twice. Blending options. Green. Blending options. Blue and red. And then the same principles apply. This one let's just glitch vertically. And if, if you want to, you can merge these, duplicate this two more times, you can go to blending options, do the same exact thing with these, blending options, blue and red, and then also make it more of a three-dimensional glitch. So now you see it's got more of an outer three-dimensional feel to it. You can do different things with this and I hope that this is beneficial and helpful to you guys. I'm just gonna merge these and merge them by selecting all layers and then hitting Control or Command E. Throw in some drop shadow just because. Let's move the drop shadow down to maybe here or so. Uh, let's make it a little bit more intense. Let's move the text in general make it look a little bit bigger more commanding if you will and there you have it that is how you do glitch text in Photoshop I hope that this is beneficial to you guys if you learned something today give the video a thumbs up if you want to see something else if there's something else that you're curious about let me know in the comments what you want to see I want to do a lot more of stuff like this and I'm going to delete the text word actually because it's not necessarily text so I'll go through and I'll change that in, in final production, maybe. Maybe I'll just leave it. So guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you learned something today. As always, have a wonderful day. Until next time.